Hi, I'm Kevin Yolvesacker here with Smithers Oasis to present one of our holiday design segments. I'm going to be using a palette of greens and whites and then accent that with metallics. The exciting thing about today's program is I'm going to be using new containers from Smithers Oasis and that's our Ecocentral line. These are made with agricultural byproducts of bamboo and they've got great weight to them and some of our finishes even look like stone. All of my designs in this segment are going to be made in our new Ecocentral line and we'll talk about those as we get through that. I also want to let you know that I've done care and handling with Floralife. I've made sure that I soaked my Oasis Floral Foam Max Life in Floralife food. I've got Floralife food in the water in all the containers. I did quick dip some of the flowers and everything has been sprayed afterwards with finishing touch. Let's get started on the designs. The first one I'm going to show you is the 4x4 cylinder. The 4x4 cylinder is one of the smaller ones in the group and it's great for everyday designs, inexpensive designs, but one of the things I think we do a lot of is we do round arrangements in this style container. But instead of that, try a vertical design. Go up, go tall with it. And you can see that I've done that with the snaps and the roses and the hydrangea. And then what I did is I went to our supplier and I want to encourage you to do that. Go to your supplier, call your supplier and find out what they have for the holidays. What's new, what's interesting. At my supplier, I found some of these silver berries and I thought they were really great to just work with my theme kind of upgrade and glitz the design and that's what I wanted to do. These came in a pack of 12 by the way so I've got more. I could make six arrangements if I wanted to out of that one pack. So think about that. Go to your supplier and find those. If we want to make this a little larger we have another container. This is our quart cylinder in the Eco Central line. This color by the way is slate and I did a vertical design just like I did in the smaller container in the 4x4 but in this one, I went even a little taller and I did that using some of the branches I found at my supplier. These are wired. These aren't real and they were great. I can twist them and use them in any direction that I want. But then we also know that drives are becoming quite popular. So I found these bleached pods and I put the bleached pods in there again to give it a little bit of contrast from everything else that's in the arrangement. So this is the quart container in the Ecocentral line. And Let's upgrade that. Almost forgot. Um, one of the things I want to show you is bind wire. You all know our bind wire. We've got it in brown, natural, and green. However, we now make it in many, many colors. We also make it in silver and gold. So this is the silver bind wire. All I did was spiraled it around. Actually, I spiraled this around a candle. And I'm going to attach that and just wrap that around my design upgrade the design, give it a little bit of that sparkle that I wanted without being too glittery, and look what that does. That's just three feet of the wire, of the bind wire, wrapped it around, and that's all you need. Good to go. So look for the different colors of Smithers Oasis bind wire at your supplier. All right, now we're moving along. So we've got our vertical designs here, but we still know that the uh, round arrangements are popular for centerpieces. What I've done here, this is in one of the Ecocentral design dishes. Now these come in three different sizes in two different colors. And then the Oasis Floral Foam Max Life is put into that container. Once I've done that, I've just taken some aspidistra leaves and made some loops. And let's see if I can pull one out here. I think that you all know how to just loop the aspidistra by pulling the stem down and through. And I put those down and into the foam, added a half dozen roses, and that's it for the centerpiece. But to keep with my theme, again, at my supplier I found millimeter balls. Now we know these have been around for ages, but we still like them, we still use them. They're inexpensive, they upgrade the design. So because these were larger than I'm used to, I put them individually on wooden picks. And you can see here how well they work. Oh, had one in there to tease you already. And we're going to pop those in like that and one more. And that's all it takes. Look what that did. That just made the arrangement that much more exciting. Round arrangement, simple, extremely fast for a centerpiece. And so that's what we're doing with this. And again, in our Eco Essential container. Now here's another container and this is our designer planter. The designer planter is actually what I showed you in the beginning, and it's got a really beautiful lip on it. Look at that great curve on the lip. 
This is also featured in our ellipse vase, and you're going to see that at the end of the program. So that's the container here. The designer planter is what that one's called. I added the roses, I added the hydrangea, and then again, millimeter balls. Now these were a little smaller, so what I did, rather than spend all the time wrapping them individually, I took them in groups and in clusters, wrapped them on the wooden pick. That's all I needed. And look at, we can just come in, fill in some of the negative areas and spaces here. That wood pick will swell in the foam and it'll lock it in nice and in place like that. So that gives us, again, another arrangement in the EcoCentral container. However, we can upgrade that as well. So here is some of the metallic bind wire again, but in gold, just like I told you, it came in all the different colors, the gold. All I did was I took one yard of it, wrapped it into loops, and this is one piece. Then I put it on a wood pick and watch what we do. Just pop that in, fan it out, and look how that changes the design. And again, just makes it a little more special. So another design for you for your holidays. Then, Let's move on to a plant. You know you're going to be getting a lot of plants and you'll get poinsettias, mums, azaleas, whatever it might be. We can keep them simple, we can put a bow on them, we can put them in a basket, whatever we need to do to fit the uh, right price point. However, we could also upgrade them. I've upgraded this mum plant by taking, as you can see, this is our natural bark wrap. And the natural bark wrap comes in different colors, different textures, moss, bark, leaves, and it's got a fabric backing on it. And what I did was I took U-glue strips. Now the dashes aren't strong enough to hold. We love the dashes, but I took the strips. Put the strips on here and put it all the way around and then just put that onto the eco essential container. This is the 8x8 planter, by the way, if you're looking for it. And then to change and upgrade this design, what I've done is, again, part of those, this is again, was a bleached uh, series. It was a whole box that had all different bleached pods in it. So I found these great cones, and I'm just going to pop those in to the center of the design like this. So here's the bleached cones. So I popped those in, but I felt that that wasn't really enough. So what I did was I took some of our natural balsa. If you're not familiar with this, look at how great that is. This is actually balsa wood, thin strips of it, and it comes in long strips for you. Cut it up, you know, however you need to use it. These are not soaked. I bent them into loops, and then I made my own wires gold, because I wanted to pick up some gold color, out of the gold etched wire. I like the gold etched wire because it has a matte finish, and it also has a texture on it. So we have different colors in the etched wire, and you're going to look for that. These are going to be simple enough that I can just take these and put them around the mum plant. Again, something different. And add these all the way in, all the way around, and you'll see just how fun these are. So make as many as you need to go around your plant, tuck them in like this, and that gives us our upgraded mum plant using the 8x8 planter and using some of our supplier's cones as well as Smithers Oasis products such as the natural balsa and the etched wire. Okay, now we're going to move on. Before we do that, we're going to wipe off our area just like you do at the shop after every design. I'm sure of that. All right. So we're moving on over here. This is the EcoCentral Prism. And the Prism Bowl has that great texture as some of our other containers do, but the lip really goes in and it creates a great line on the design. Nice small container. And what I've done here is I've used flowers that we normally think of as filler. The aster, the wax flower, and I put that in first. Once I had that in, then I popped my roses in, and then I made little spheres, again, out of the metallic uh, bind wire. So there's only about a foot of wire on here, and I scrunch it all up in a ball and tuck those in. You may want to wire those in. I did not so that I could take them out and show you. Then the fun part is to make this kind of Christmas tree, modern Christmas tree look. And what I did was use Mitalino, 
you all love Mitalino. And I put that into the foam like this. I put several of them in here and they kind of stuck out like a big spider. And then I grabbed them, bent them up, and I tied them off with some of the gold metallic bind wire. And you can see how fun that is and what a good look it is. Something different and that's what I'm encouraging you to try. The next container I'll show you, again, is our Eco Essential Planter, the designer planter. And <clears throat> this is in slate. So I've taken it and done more of a parallel design in here uh, with the Alstom area and the stock. And then I've just based it out with carnations and hydrangea. But I wanted something fun. I wanted a different element in here. So you can see it's right here. And that is using some of the Mitalino and then gold chenille stems of all things. We've seen chenille for years and years, but how fun it would be to reinvent it and use it again. I've cut a chenille stem into thirds, like that. Then take your chenille stem, put it and just simply wrap it around. You don't even need to twist it, just wrap it once. And then I just fanned it out into a shapes like that. Once I had, that's one full piece of the Mitalino, which is that long. So then I took that, wrapped it around and tied it to itself. Whoop, tied it to itself. Oh, sure, I told you you didn't have to twist them. Um, and that was laid on top of the base of the design. Once I had that laying on top of the base, then I came in with my taller flowers. But then to make it a lot more harmonious, what I did was I came in and added some of the gold chenille onto the stems of the flowers. And that just brought the gold up into the design. So again, this is our designer planter and a parallel design for you couple more here to show you over here so this again is one of the designer dishes and in the designer dish what I've done is I've wanted to keep all round forms so I've got the hydrangea I've got gorgeous mums and carnations in here and then I just wanted to soften it a little bit using the silver dollar uke once I got all of that in there you can see the mounds and you can see the great clustering that's going on down here, but I wanted to change it and upgrade it. We know succulents are so popular right now, and I found some great permanent succulents at my supplier. Again, remember, we want to work with our supplier to upgrade and change all the great products from Smithers Oasis. These succulents seem to have that round form to me as well, so I picked those up. And we'll pop these into the foam like that. So I've got my succulents in there, but I wanted a little more contrast and texture. Again, incorporating some natural elements. And I found these great little spheres. Again, part of that wonderful package of dried material. And watch what happens when I pop those in, how that changes it. Completely different design, but just so pretty by adding those. So here you can see the arrangement. You can see how pretty that is. Something different for what we'd call a round mound arrangement for a centerpiece. We can take that even further. And in this case, I've taken, again, one of our eco essential design dishes. This is in the natural color. But what I've done different in here is what's in here is one of our midnight foam design rings. I soaked the midnight foam design ring separately. Then I just set it in. It's setting in here. It's not going anywhere. It weighs a lot. And then I did add more water in there for the flowers. So I've got the design ring in there. I put the candles in. And again, if you're using candles and it's going to go to somebody, make sure that if they're going to light it, you do use glass shades. If it's just for decoration and the client knows that, fine. But obviously they can't light that without the glass shade. I added lotus pods and pine cones because I wanted to keep it very natural. And then I pre-cut some roses for you that I'm going to go ahead and just pop in and show you how simple this can be. Just going to come in with a few roses and tuck these into the design like that. And there's my floral. Whoop. There's my floral. So I've got that all in there, all in the design but I wanted something a little different. So again, in scouting the shelves at the supplier, I found some phenomenal fabric pheasant feathers. Aren't those awesome? They've got the gold in here to pick up the gold and the candles. 
And what I did, these, by the way, these came in a bunch. There were some other colors in it, all in one big bunch that I tore apart, because that's what we do, right? So tuck those in, come in with one more feather that way. And we're sheltering the design, really. And that means have your completed design and come in with product that overlays so that you can see the arrangement below. And so here you go. And there is my centerpiece, again, using the Eco Central Design Dish and the Midnight, Midnight Foam Design Ring. All right. So for our final design, I want to show you, and this is the ellipse vase that I told you about. Same shape as our designer planter. So here's the ellipse vase. Can you see me? All right, this is the ellipse vase. You can see the great height that it has. And I've come in, branches that I found at my supplier, white birch branches, and gave it the framing technique that we we all do and we do so well. Framing technique, I came in with some tropicals, some carnations, stock, mums. Don't be afraid to mix your tropicals with what we'd consider everyday flowers. It's all about the color and it's all about the texture. But the interesting thing is, is I came in with the anthurium. These are natural, an not natural anthurium. These are permanent anthurium, and they're in a great ivory color, and I thought that that would work out so well for me. Sometimes we don't have all the fresh flowers that we need, so use some permanents, mix them, let the client know that that's what you're going to do. So I popped those in, it completed my design, and that also completes my design segment for you. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you love the Eco Essential line as much as I do. And again, I'm Kevin Yolvasacker with Smithers Oasis.